Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence from Lawrence Creates, and today I've got something interesting to show you guys. Now, for the last week, I've been messing around with an AI agent software that I've been developing. Now, I gained my initial interest in doing something like this quite a while ago when I was using, or messing around rather, with things like um, ChatDev, um, and a, a couple of other Python programs that I ran into, where basically you gave it a game idea, or website idea, or really anything. And it was like a simulated game studio or web development studio, whatever you were going for. And basically the AI agents would talk amongst themselves with best practices, a plan to go ahead, program it. And then at the end of them talking with each other, it would produce usable code. Now, my issue with those is they were all using languages that you didn't really need to compile, right? Um, Python, you didn't need to compile. JavaScript, you don't really need to compile. Um, but my issue with that is a lot of those require you to download, let's say for example, with Python, uh, a lot of the games with that would require Pygame and the game you were making wouldn't work unless you installed that library because the AI agents didn't do it for you. Um, and I thought, well, surely there could be an easy way to do this. Now I've been pondering this for quite a while and I honestly haven't gone ahead and tried it because I didn't feel that AI was at a point where it could really produce good code um, <clears throat> or at, at least engaging code to produce something more engaging. Whereas now we have Sonnet 3.5, which is what the current agent game studio uses. So you will need a Claude API and you will need to use the uh, Sonnet 3.5 model. Um, basically to get started, there's this text file and you enter your Claude API in this. I will have links to everything. If you want to give this a shot, uh, you will be able to support me and get a copy for yourselves. This is an ongoing development and I will also list out uh, future fe features that I'm already working on. However, the um, the build I'm shipping out that, to let everyone use is basically the most stable version of the Agent Game Studio. So what this does, and I don't think I've seen it done yet, but it will basically take C sharp code that the AI writes. It will then compile that code and any compiled code that returns an error. Um, basically the tester will go back and uh, tell the programmer to fix those issues. And it'll keep doing that until it produces a clean program. Now, as you saw from the intro, I showed a couple of games. Uh, there's a couple of styles we can do. Um, let's check out Cosmic Defender. <clears throat> so basically, Cosmic Defender uses nothing but uh, shapes that the game draws. You can press uh, spacebar, destroy asteroids. Um, and then another style we can go with is uh, you can actually get your own assets. So when we make a game, you can it'll tell ask you if you want to produce assets for the game or if you don't. If you don't, it won't use any assets. It'll draw things from primitive shapes, squares, circles, triangles, things like that. If you do, once it's finished building the game, it'll actually tell you what images and sprites you need and in what sizes. And then you put that in an assets folder where the executable is. So basically in with the agents being able to compile their own code, you end up with a game that can be shared with any Windows user, um, which is really cool. It's something that couldn't really be done with Python unless the other user also had the Python or unless you went through the trouble of converting that uh, Python code into an executable, which you know is a bit of a pain depending on libraries you end up using. But with this, as soon as it builds, it opens with any anybody, doesn't matter what they, what, what Windows system they have, it will run. Now, I don't know if many of you have watched my game engine tutorial in C Sharp, uh, but that tutorial was made using GDI Plus as the backend for drawing graphics. So with this, our AI agents use GDI Plus. However, I'm in the process of swapping it over to uh, OpenGL so that we can create uh, 3D environments, 2D environments, stuff like that. For the moment, I wanted to get basically a proof of con uh, a proof of concept, right? I wanted to get out something that was usable and working. And the easiest way to do that would be with GDI Plus because there's no external libraries you need. Um, it, it's all sort of just built into Windows. So 
<clears throat> when you get the application, you will get the agentgamestudio.exe. You will also get a whole bunch of DLLs that are required for it. Um, super easy. You run Agent Game Studio. Now, the downside, I guess you could say, to this being pre-compiled code made by AI is, I mean, technically, you're never seeing the code until it's built. Um, and it could be rogue code. It could be a code that crashes your system. Could be a co code that runs into an infinite loop. Um, I mean, this is my disclaimer here, right? If you use this, there could be programs that will crash your computer, you know? Um, it's not like the AI is out to create anything nasty, right? But the AI is an average programmer and with average code, you will get problems. So with that said, that's my disclaimer. You guys can use this if you want to support me um, and want to see further development of this, go ahead, support me. You'll get a copy of this version and then uh, anyone who continues supporting me will get the newer versions that come out after this. Um, so yeah, let's enter our game idea, right? Um, I don't know what we want. Let's go with, let's see. I'm trying to create something I haven't created before just to really show this. Uh, I guess we could just go with a generic platformer. We'll, we'll just say Mario clone. Um, uh, let's say Mario clone, uh, but with gravity switching. And we'll say something like make up to three levels, reaching the end of the right side of the screen goes to the next level. Do you want custom assets? Now, this is what I said before. If you want to provide custom assets, you will need to create your own assets folder and it'll tell you what assets to be made. In this demonstration, I'm going to go with no. I will create a different video showing the creation of a game with custom assets. It's honestly the exact same. The only thing you have to do is provide it with your own assets. It will tell you what assets you need and what sizes they need to be. But you can see here, what happens is we've passed our idea to the uh, the planner agent. Uh, the planner creates an initial game concept and outlines everything for the programmer. What happens is that plan then gets passed to a naming agent that naming agent will then create a name. So this game is called Flip Flop Galaxy. That sounds super fun. You'll also see once this is finished building, there will be a new folder that is made called currently building. So once it's finished programming, I'll quickly show you that. I'm also ho hoping it uh, errors out here because it'll show you a good example of the tester agent going back and saying there's an issue and there was no issues. Okay, cool. Um, so I'll quickly show you. So in the currently building, it actually has the entire project file. So you can go in here and you can view the code that makes up this game. This entire script is the game. Okay. So I'm hoping, okay, so uh, D and A keys movement. Do we have anything else? Uh, it seems we have nothing else to go off. Nothing, no other buttons. Okay. All right. So, I mean, that's a basic example, but this is the cool thing now. For the moment, it will say if there's any bugs, you report them in this next stage and it'll keep going. However, you can also add features in this stage. Eventually, I'm going to be adding a feature um, developer which will implement features. So bug testing and uh, adding new features and mechanics is going to be a separate process. Um, however, for now, everything is basically sent to the agent that is responsible for fixing bugs. This does have an issue where the agent does try and fix bugs. So if it's not necessarily a bug, sometimes it doesn't add features, which is why I need to add that feature agent. However, for the time being, to create this as best experience as it can be in its current stage, this is what we do. So we can say something like the jump does not work. Uh, and we'll say something like the game needs UI that explains how to play on the first level. We'll say something like that. Now, there is some limitations to this version of the 
uh, Game Studio, which I'm currently implementing and fixing. The AI is only capable of generating a singular class file. Now, as you saw before, this class file is getting pretty long. It is probably about to exceed the token window that I'm able to send. And so what will happen, and I'm pretty certain it's probably going to happen with this update here because it's too big. Um, we might be able to get it working. Uh, but basically what will happen is if it's too big, the response from Claude gets cut off. So instead of a completed piece of code like this, you might get something like that. If this happens to you, you will run into an infinite bug testing loop uh, and it'll try it'll try fixing the problem up to 10 times. Once it's failed 10 times, it'll close out of the program. Uh, so you can see here we do have errors and I can almost guarantee you it's because this script has now exceeded the file limit. Yeah, basically, if you get some text up here with a code bracket, it's probably... Yeah, there we go. So the code has basically exceeded. So with the current version of this uh, Agent Game Studio, if your game logic gets too large, you will be unable to continue further. So this is basically going to run in an endless loop of trying to fix this code, but it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger and always cut out. We'll give it one more try. Maybe it's able to compress the code. Um, but yeah, basically it'll keep generating this broken code over and over again, trying to fix it. And it's not that it can't fix it. It's because the token limit is... Uh, it's basically exceeded. Yeah, so it's basically got the same issues now. So, unfortunately, this game was too big for us to fix. So we could try uh, try something else. Let's... Uh, I don't know. Let's try and go with a tiled farming simulator for plants. We want box selection with a right-click submenu. Now... We'll also say no for custom assets. Now, um, I'm currently working on a version that does produce uh, basically the, the code in separate files. Um, it's basically an entire project it creates, different classes, things like that. If we go into the initial code here, you'll see that there's, yeah, it's created a whole bunch of different classes here. Um, you know, you've got a player class. These are all things that can be in their own files. So my newest version of the AI or agent game studio does split the code, but it's currently a little bit unstable. So when I get that in a more stable and functioning uh, build, I will also release that to um, anyone who wants to support me. I, I think, honestly, I think I'm going to have a Patreon up. So if anyone wants to support me and get a copy of this, I'm, honestly, I'm leaning towards Patreon. So yeah, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll have to go on Patreon to grab a copy of this to mess around with yourself. All right, so let's see what we can do here. So we have our box selection like we asked. Let's select, right click, plant wheat. Okay. Let's select over that and uh, harvest. Okay, and then we got coin. Let's maybe do a row like that. Harvest. Ah, oh, sorry, I did the wrong thing. Uh, plant. Cool. So here's an example of a simple feature I reckon we could get. So right now the box selection leaves once we uh, once we let go, right? So we can go back to our agents here and we can say, I want the box selection to persist. Uh, did I spell that right? Uh, uh, until we make a selection in the submenu. So we'll do that. Depending on what it does, we'll, we'll count this as a completed game. And then in my next video, or maybe I'll make a YouTube short because it's not too much different. I'll make a short on how we can quickly whip up a game with actual graphics. Um, and I'm going to basically continue some devlogs on this um, and keep releasing updates out to those who want to support or back the project. Um, because this is probably a really easy way to get some prototypes up and running. Plus, it gives you the entire code of the project. So you can, I mean, you can go create a basic project with this, get into the code here, and change it as you please. Whatever you want, it's all here for you to change. Um, okay, so let's see. There we go. The box selection stays now.
which is perfect. So let's uh, maybe do this and plant tomatoes. Oh, cool! Let's actually change the change the color. So let's uh, let's harvest that. Let's see if we can plant flower and harvest. Okay, so we can't actually harvest it until it's grown. So let's harvest half of that. Cool. Harvest. Uh, let's plant wheat. Harvest. Uh, carrots. Carrots are orange. Harvest. Awesome. I mean, look, it's a game. You know, it's not the prettiest looking game, but like I said, if we said yes to custom graphics beforehand, we could, it probably would have made the same thing, but just told us what graphics uh, we should be using. Um, but yeah, there, there we have it, guys. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to include this builds folder um, with the uh, uh, with the project, so you guys can go in and have a play with all the games that I've ended up creating with it. Um, I will also include all the assets I've used for uh, these games, these are not, you know, these are not professional assets. I just went in and messed around. Um, but yeah, just again, if you want to use this, you have to add, uh, enter your Claude API key in this text file. Um, I will provide instructions on my website um, and the Patreon post when I make that uh, on how to use this. Um, I also have a new Discord server set up for my studio. Um, cause this is what I'm basically going to be releasing this under. It's going to be under my studio and not my like current YouTube name. So if you guys need support or help or anything like that, uh, please do join my studio discord. Um, and just ask away. There's even a section to share your games that you make with this. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what you guys make with it. Uh, and I will see you in my further update videos when I implement some features that I want to implement. Um, I will also list out on my website and all that, the current features I'm working on. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate you staying and uh, if you like this give it a like and check out the project.